joined now by the head coach of the Ferris State Bulldogs, Kurt Westendorp. Coach, you told us after the game yesterday you expected to have a chance to win and be in the game here today, and you, you certainly were for much of the way. Oh, absolutely. I'm really proud of how our girls came out with a ton of energy. They had a lot of belief from the get-go. You know, when you get when you get butt handed to you a little bit the night before, sometimes you can come out with not having as much confidence. You know, our girls had confidence. You know, we did a good job this morning in our walkthrough and film session and scout. We saw everything that was there. We worked at it, and we really executed very well early in the game. Um, really well early in the game. I'm just really proud of our effort to kind of take these guys down to the wire. I know the final score is 15, but that's not indicative of how the game was. Obviously, they say uh, a player makes um, their most improvements maybe from game one to game two. You didn't have a whole lot of time between game one and game no. two, but uh, certainly some of your, your young kids really stepped up and improved their play here today. Well, defensively, our post players really stepped up and grew. I mean, yesterday, they kind of got whatever they wanted on the paint. You know, we played so much tougher. We got a little bit more precise with our coaching, and they did a nice job of taking that coaching, really applying it out in the court. They were able to see a little bit of what it took. You know, part of that, they just needed a game under the belt, to be quite honest. They needed to kind of see exactly what it was like to know the intensity level that you have to have to compete with, I mean, the number two team in the entire country. And we had them, you know, we were right there with them the whole way through. I think we're going to have a lot of confidence from this. What were some of the keys maybe going down the stretch that Ashland uh, did well uh, in that uh, fourth quarter uh, to kind of pull out the win? It was really more in the third quarter, I kind of thought, like when they were really able to get it from like where it was super tight, they kind of got it up to like six and eight. Um, they did a nice job of knocking down a few shots. They kind of settled in. And then on the defensive end for us, like we had so many opportunities there in the second half um, just to kind of keep scoring right with them because I don't feel like they took off offensively as much as we kind of stalled out. So I felt like we had opportunities. We just didn't, we didn't capitalize on them. But Ashland did a nice job. They made shots down the stretch when they had to and we started putting the press around them and trapping them a little bit. We forced several turnovers but then they hit some back-to-back -back threes which is kind of a little bit of the give and the take of what you have when you're trying to come back from 10 with four minutes to go. How much of a learning and a growing experience will this be for your team moving forward after uh, playing you know one of the top teams in the country here to start conference play? Uh, I think I think our girls are starting to realize like what we can do all right uh, right now we're still trying to find like I said find that identity you know we ran a lot of different things this weekend you know we kind of put in so much stuff and the practices that we were had leading up not really knowing because we haven't been able to scrimmage against each other a whole lot just because we haven't had 10 healthy and really haven't been able to play against other opponents so it's going to take us a little bit of time to kind of feel it out just hopefully it doesn't take that long um, because again every game in the GLIAC is competitive and we don't want to be going 0-2 on these weekends we really need to try to turn the script next weekend when we get to home games how excited are you to, to be back at home next weekend and play in a couple games at Jim Wink Arena I think it's gonna be really nice for the girls I think it's gonna be a little more comfortable for them playing in their own gym we haven't played in there yet for any kind of a competition setting you know everyone says you always shoot the ball a little bit better at home I feel like our team shoots the ball way better than we showed this this opening weekend you know I feel like we got some kids that can really fill it up and we just haven't quite shown that yet you know we haven't really hit our stride hopefully a little bit of home cooking will help well coach uh, thanks for being with us uh, safe travels home and we'll talk to you again next week. Thanks, Rob.